Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com and we're, we're back to, to some IT materials for this week and this is actually going to be the first of, of several little videos about some uh, little tips and tricks with PowerShell. And I'm making these because I've, in, in my own experience learning how to use PowerShell, I have found that for me it has been most effective learning PowerShell through doing, such as I want to do a, a particular task, how do I do that with, with PowerShell? Rather than trying to memorize a bunch of commandlets and understanding some some real um, deep, deep level details about objects and such, all of that is is, is important and, and, and at some point you should learn it and, and there are some folks that probably work better learning all of that ahead of time before using PowerShell but for me it was more effective as as I used PowerShell to, to, to learn those things as I went along and the commandlet that I'm going to talk about today is something called get command this is a great tool for finding other commandlets and is something that you will you'll probably find yourself using more often than than not in your work as a matter of fact um, one of my tasks right now, I'm, I'm I'm transitioning into taking over the Microsoft Exchange environment where I, where I work, and I've I've worked with Exchange Online a couple of years in 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 the past and such, and I was I was pretty familiar with with what I needed to do within PowerShell to be able to manage Exchange Online. However, it's 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 been a couple of years, and so a lot of those commandlets aren't aren't at the the front part of my brain anymore simply because I'm not using them every day prior to now and so I, I find myself since we have um, a hybrid environment on-premises exchange as well as exchange online I'm using get command to be able to find commandlets that when I see them uh, my, my memory is sparked and I'm like oh yeah I remember that. I, I had to use this command but it was it, it took seeing the, the commandlet to do it so I have my PowerShell window open here I have a, a VM where I've installed um, active directory domain services and the command itself let me make sure I have this in focus there we go get command pretty simple what you will do is use get command to find um, find commandlets using parts of names and you'll you'll probably want, want to use wildcards for this for example let's say that I wanted to create a new user in Active Directory and I can't think of what the commandlet name is well in PowerShell um, you, you, you've probably heard of the idea of the the verb noun structure for um, naming commands in PowerShell or commandlets in PowerShell and what that is is the first part of a name before the dash is going to be a verb. You're wanting to do something to to a commandlet. The second part is going to be a noun. The the the, the thing that that you're wanting to to do the something to. For like better phrase, it's probably pretty terrible sentence structure there. And so, it's it would be a reasonable guess that whatever PowerShell commandlet um, or or commandlets plural out there to make users in Active Directory probably have the word user in it what we can do is get command and I'm going to put an uh, asterisk user asterisk and so this is going to re return commandlets that have something user something and let's see what what's returned here I'll press enter and a lot of the different things are, are returned get command can can be used to find other things such as functions and applications and, and, and all that good stuff I'm focusing just on actual commandlets right now, and again, the the point of these little quick tips is, is to not have you know a 20 minute long, in depth discussion, but just know that get command can be used to find all, all sorts of things. But for us, we're just doing commandlets, and what we find here is get ad user, and I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you that get ad user is is not going to be what what we knew what what we need to to make a new user but if you look down the list you see new ad user you also see new local user well since what what we're wanting to do is make the the user within active directory it would make sense that we're probably going to use ad user rather than local user now from here you can use commandlets like get help which which, which I'll explain in a, in a later video to to learn more about the commandlets itself but 
if if I if I have an idea such as I I, I know how to use new AD user, but let's say I haven't worked with Active Directory in a while, and it's like I, I you you know how to use the, the the commandlet that you want, you just can't remember the name of the commandlet. Get command is is, is a is a uh, great tool for that. You can also do a couple of things um, if you want to find every commandlet and function application that begins with get. You can do things like this: get command get dash star. And this is going to return a ton of things. Well, that's everything that that begins with with get. Or if you want to find every commandlet that begins with set, that, that that that's another common verb with it. But for me, what I tend to find myself using it the most for is doing get command and then putting a wildcard some some part of a word such as let's say that I'm wanting to do something with DNS because uh, a lot of your domain controller is going to be DNS servers and you want to add records and such to it well get command DNS star and that's going to return a good number of things many of these are are, are actually functions functions are, are made up of um, little scripts and, and other commandlets but you you see the idea here of if I do that get command star DNS this is going to return a ton of things but if you're not sure you know what the name of the commandlet is you know it has something to do with DNS um, D DNS rather this is a, a good starting point so quick and easy tip if, if you're not sure of the the commandlet you want and you think you know part of the name the get dash command commandlet in PowerShell will will help you out a good bit. As always, thank you for, for taking the time to watch. If you think that, that this content would be useful for, for other folks wanting to get into PowerShell, feel free to, to share the content. Also, make sure you click like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and, and ring the bell when you subscribe to the channel. So that way you can be made aware of when I make some um, new content. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you the next time.